In your local election headquarters, we are counting down to the big election day on November 6th. Some are wondering if Republicans can keep a majority here on Capitol Hill. Capitol correspondent Harrison Golden explains the new findings that show a mixed bag. With less than a month before voters shape the 116th Congress, Capitol Hill's upper chamber is feeling the Republican majority's kumbaya moment, one that political analyst John Cuvian owes to perhaps the most polarizing high court nominee ever. Given that you have a very strong feeling amongst conservative partisans about what they feel is the unfair treatment from the media, from Democrats, and so forth, well, now they have a reason to be stirred up. I, Brett M. Kavanaugh. With now Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh sworn in on Monday, the Baton Rouge based pollster says the GOP is eager to move on from the contentious hearings, and the numbers are showing it. In this case, what's happened in Arizona and Nevada was that they were, these were two races where the Republicans were trailing, but I saw them close the gap enough in the last couple weeks to where I reassess them as toss-ups, which of course is a benefit to Republicans. Kuvion defines a toss-up as any race in which the two top candidates share a three-point margin or less. From the Republican standpoint, this comes at a good time for them as people are starting to turn in their mail ballots and so forth. Other forecasts point that way as well. The data site 538 last week gave Republicans a 78% chance of keeping their Senate majority, and that number rose this week to 81 percent. But as for the House, that's another story. The nonpartisan forecaster inside elections sees Democrats gaining 25 to 35 seats in the lower chamber next month. Such would be enough to win a majority there and split the difference on the Hill. For your local election headquarters, I'm Harrison Golden. A few nuggets for you now. In all, 435 seats are up for election in the U.S. House. 35 seats are up for grabs in the Senate.